Well, hey folks, how y'all doing? We're down in the shop and we're gonna be doing a restoration today of, a, of an old grill. Uh, these date back, these are made by Tonka. Remember, Tonka trucks, you know, in the 60s and the 70s, wanted to expand from just, you know, selling, you know, Christmas presents. That's at, at the time, that was their big business was selling their trucks uh, for Christmas presents and decided to get into the barbecue market. And uh, they started making these, they were called Tonka Fire Bowls. Now, I've got a really nice example of one right here. This one I bought as is. I didn't have to do any restoration to it. And you can see it is really cool. Got a little rotisserie in there. Uh, even came with the uh, customer manual. And uh, like I said, this is really a, a, piece, uh, a piece of barbecue history right here. Even had its own little tool set there. Um, rotisserie works. Little warming box up here. Just just really really cool now there's not a whole lot of these around folks and one of the reasons is that uh, they were made out of some pretty thin gauge metal I mean this whole thing that package right there you pick that up it ain't more than 20 pounds right there so uh, they got dent dented up and dinged up so after I got this one and I, I was looking for more and I found one on eBay uh, all the way in California and uh, I don't think the gentleman was a hundred percent knew what he had or maybe didn't know what he had, but uh, there's this is not all original. For instance, the wheels, although they look like they are, let me show you the original wheels. You see them down there with the little white walls. Uh, these are not, and you can tell someone actually grooved those out to get them to fit. And uh, you know, I I did a little painting there because I don't think I'm going to be able to find the wheels, but I'll be looking for them. But I don't want, you know, I'm not going to spend a whole lot of money because I am going to repaint this. It's got some, uh, you can see it has been used. Definitely has been used. And uh, there's been some warpage here. Someone did a repair here, but they used uh, the right style bolts and nuts for a time, slotted and then square square nuts. Long time since you've seen those around. The sticker's in pretty good shape. I did find uh, some paint that's pretty close. Uh, burnt orange is what I found. So we're gonna be doing restoration now. We've already kind of started on the legs. And you see I've got one buffed up already and got about as cleaned as good as I'm going to get it. That that angle I think is okay. That's where the wheels go. And uh, I've got to do the other ones yet. Uh, these back sides, which is, you can see on the back right there, these are all full of soot. So uh, I've been cleaning these and polishing them. And this is a finished one right here. I got it looking pretty good. Uh, and I got to polish this one up yet. And uh, we're just going to use it as is. Do the restoration, take you along while we do it, folks. Uh, but it's gonna be looking really cool when it's done to have two uh, Tonka Fire Bowls. I think that's pretty cool, especially in the land of grills. All right, so I got the back side, and this also holds the rotisserie. Uh, I got that polished up about as good as I can get it. If you would have seen these before, I should have showed you before. They were black on the inside, and I just used soap and water and a Brillo pad to get most of that off, and then uh, using the, uh, the Mother's Mag and aluminum polish and a random over buffer on here. And then I'm using my buffing wheel on the legs and I got that about as good as I'm gonna get on there. If you're wondering what's in the Band-Aid box here, those, those are all the uh, bolts and nuts. I have no idea if everything is there. Boxes, so I'll show you a little bit more of the box. So Taka Corporation, Mound, Minnesota. So this was uh, advertised in Life Magazine and advertised in Look. A lot of people don't write it, but this was sold to uh, Alberson Food Stores, it looks like in Pocatello, Idaho maybe, and I think that's the price right there, maybe, $10.80 maybe, I, I, I don't know, but it's, it's still pretty cool. It, you know, one of the things that made me think that this guy just put this together was, if you look at how much wear, and this has been used, but if you look at the grape that he sent along, it's never been used. So I have a feeling this guy found a couple of these and it was just mit, you know matching things together to try and make one to sell it. And uh, he didn't have the right wheels. And if you, anybody knows where I can get the old style wheels like that, that'd be cool to finish this out. And then, like I said, I got a rotisserie and I bought that separately. Those are still very much available on eBay. Not the right color, but it's it's good enough. And next we're gonna start cleaning out the bottom of this, get all this prepped up and ready. And then we're gonna, we're gonna tape over the fireball sticker real careful. And then we're gonna give her a coat of paint. All right, soap and water and a Brillo pad got everything pretty much off there. This paint just comes right off. Doesn't appear to be any primer on there. And uh, I got the bowl washed up too. And once again, you can see 
there's some bare spots down there. No primer, obviously these weren't made to last. Uh, and that's why there's not many of these around because they're pretty thin gauge steel and uh, weren't made to last. So we're gonna get the paint in you. There's the paint I'm using, uh, this two times coverage. That burnt orange, I'll tell you, that looks pretty gosh darn close. So get the painting. All right, getting everything that needs to be painted, painted up. The orange is pretty close once it dries. A little bit brighter, but uh, close enough. All right, well, we'll start the uh, <laughs> start the assembly here. This is my only guide is the picture. And you can see it's kind of convoluted. I've, there's many different ways you can do this. And I, I think I did it wrong once. So now I'm doing it again and that looks better. And then I was wondering how the axle fits in there because there's only a hole right, right there on one, one side. You can see it's right there. Well, it's at such an angle that the axle goes through that elongated hole and comes out the other side. So uh, let me get this together. I think I might have it right this time get, and uh, put the rest of it together. All right, if you remember, I got the wheels on there. Remember how I said I didn't think these were original because how chewed up they were on the inside? Well, look at that. Well, guess why they're getting chewed up? It's because of the way this, this fits in there. So I still don't think these are the original wheels, but uh, they look pretty cool. All right, so that's your grill height adjustment right there. I've done this twice already because this thing's got to fit in there first. And I had this on first and you can't get that piece on there without with this on. And then I put it on and I forgot to put the tabs on. So I've done this three times already. <laughs> Having a ball. All right, the next is to put the back on that holds the rotisserie. I'm going to use... The other one, I got the green one, to uh, use that as a guide. Uh, there are holes and everything. So I think I put that sheet metal thing on first and uh, put them in the, these holes right there. And then uh, the top will go on. Easy peasy, right? All right, so before I was criticizing <laughs> kind of the guy that I got this from, saying I don't think I got a complete unit, or I think he took a couple of them and put it together. Now that it's all coming together, I mean, I got exactly what I need here, right? All five of those bolts, I use the bigger ones on the bottom. Uh, five is what I need. And I need four of the small, five of the smaller ones for the top. And uh, five is what I got. So uh, even though, you know, and the wheels, I, I don't know. I don't, I don't know now. Maybe the maybe wheels are original. But uh, let's get the top on and give you a final look-see. Right, there it is all restored up, folks. I'm really... <laughs> you know, they have two of these now. Remember, these things are 50, 50 years old, and it's amazing they even survived that one especially. This one uh, took a little work, uh, and it, it ain't perfect. Find someone to make the sticker for that. I did find those stickers online, but I want the I want that one. And yes, we do have the rotisserie. Rotisserie is a different color. I couldn't find, like in that one, it's color quarter green. I thought I was getting that one. I didn't want to listen to this. Now, this brings back memories for me. As a kid, I can remember my dad putting chicken on something very similar to this, whether it was a Tonka Fireball, I don't remember, but the sound of the rotisserie. That's what I remember right there. And I remember him having a squirt bottle of water because the chicken would flare up and he'd be out there squirting them and all that. And I'll tell you what, good times, folks. Uh, hope you enjoyed this uh, memory lane for me. A, a nice addition, a nice, a very nice addition to the uh, Land of Girls, folks. Tom Horseman on YouTube. Hey, if you want to support this app of mine, uh, super thanks down below. I, I'd appreciate anything you want to contribute to keep on these kind of little projects keep on going. Thanks again, folks.